I'm running for my teacher. I am running for my grandma. I'm running for my mom. I'm running for myself. Whether you run, walk, or stroll, discover with every step your power to change the world. Join us in the fight against breast cancer, October 9th at Isotopes Park for the Susan G. Coleman Race for the Cure. Register today at ComanCNM.org. Whose life are you running for? I'm Julia Jackson, and this is Music Unite. Welcome to Music Unite. We have a special guest in the house tonight, Joe Angel Hernandez. How's it going? Joe, I know you're a, you're a heavy hitter here in Albuquerque's music scene. Uh, tell us what stuff you've got going on. Um, well, I've got some shows that I'm trying to put together here in the future. I'm working on a new venue I'm trying to get together that uh, will be a, a good fix on, on the other side of town instead of downtown. I'm still working with the Alway Theater also, so... Just a lot of things in the works right now. Cool. I know you're doing a lot of death metal. You're, you're branching out into the hip-hop rap kind of thing, too, as well. Is that still going on with you? Yeah. Um, not so much death metal. I just like metal, period. I'm a metal guy, but uh, just loving music, period. I like hip-hop and all that, too. So I'm just trying to get my feet in all kinds of stuff, from metal to rock to hip-hop and all that. But, uh, yeah, like my, my uh, record label... Uh, deals with death metal and the heavier side of metal, so that's why I'm known kind of as a death <laughs> metal guy. So, so let, let's talk about that that uh, record label you have. Uh, what, what do you got with that? Uh, I got, a, it's called uh, Dead World Syndicate Records. Uh, I got Field of Elysium on it uh, from Santa Fe, New Mexico, uh, Bella Miss Creation from Albuquerque, and a bunch of bands. I got bands from Denver, uh, Boston, and, and so forth, and uh, just trying to work out a bunch of metal to put out there. So. Where can the, where can we find those releases? Uh, DWS Records with a K on Facebook. Um, uh, I did have a store before, and I'm might be opening another music store again here in the future. So a lot of people say they miss it, but we'll see. So nice. <laughs> you know. I know uh, I know you're a performer yourself. Have you uh, picked that back up? Or are you still trying to get things rolling with that? Or um, yeah, I'm. Writing a lot of music right now. We're gonna be called Amnia. Um, nice. Yeah, I can't stop playing music. Uh, I know you perform. Tim does too, and a bunch of people, and you, you just can't stop. So it's in the blood. We can't. <laughs> we can't uh, leave that behind us. I know uh, one of my fondest memories of you is we were at one of your shows one night. I can't remember the band name. The band was performing. What I do. What's that? No, I'm just what I, I'm all what the, I do. The band was performing, and for some strange reason, or I don't know what it was, their vocalist didn't show up. So they got up on stage and were soldiering through. We, everybody with the crowd was getting into it, and all of a sudden, a voice from above, we hear this insane growling vocal, <laughs> and nobody could figure out where it was coming from. We looked at it, and there you were on the board. So that was that was awesome. You jumped in there and helped those guys at out. At the soundboard. So yeah, uh, I think the, um, who was that? I believe it was M Vela Miss Creation. They just lost their singer and. Uh, they said anyone that wants to jump in and throw some vocals down, do it. So I was like, I'll, I'm down to do it up. So then I didn't want to leave the board, so I just did it from the board. So. That kind of freaked everybody <laughs> out. I know everybody, was, everybody yeah. was like, okay, what's going on around here? And it was, it was cool. It was, it was a good vibe. Yeah. I know you brought a lot of intense shows, and we've seen a lot of bands come through town that we were, we were blown away with. And you've helped launch a lot of bands. And that's, that's thankful for the music scene in Albuquerque. I know you're you're passionate and it just keeps it going and going that's what we we try to do with music unite you guys are trying to do and hopefully we can see some bigger shows and bigger events coming up i know you're tell us about your new venue um it's, it'll be named uh the blue phoenix blu and uh, phoenix uh my little uh thing for my little boy's name his name's I did, isaiah blue so i uh, kind of named it after my little boy but uh it's called uh, the Blue Phoenix and uh, be an all ages venue again. Nice. Uh, so I just, uh, there's still a lot of kids around that need a place to go. So uh, I'm, I'm always down to have an all ages place to have music of nice. all genres there. So that's good. I do, um, do you help mentor any of these bands? Uh, can they come to you and get Yeah, some I advice? actually just started uh, Blue Phoenix Management. Um, Current got, currently got a O Creator, Tyrants, Fields of Elysium. I'm 
Mortal Prophecy, um, uh, Portrait of Mastermind uh, on my management, and um, just trying to help him out and kind of help him out and make some the right decisions in their careers, and so that I've seen other bands kind of mess up and all that stuff. So that's good. That's kind of got him. Yeah, that's that's kind of a lot of these younger people don't know how to approach the situation and they can get taken advantage of. So it's it's good to see somebody honorable jump in and help these guys find the right way. Yeah. So uh, if you had any words of advice for any young bands, what would you tell them how they could develop themselves or what would you say to them? Um, one is uh, <clears throat> I hear a lot of bands say, uh, we've been playing a lot of shows so we can tighten up our shows and stuff. Uh, and in my opinion, that's what the jam room's for and the garage is for instead of, you know, it's good to play out um, and put your name out there, but tightening it up and all that should be in a jam room, in my opinion. And not playing so many shows because you burn out your crowd, you burn out people's wallets, and just too, ma too much is too much. So right. se uh, select shows, making those shows events instead of just playing, you know, bar mitzvahs and garage parties and, you know, all that stuff, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so more isn't better. No, I mean, I, when I was jamming younger, the occasional house party was cool, but um, w when at the end this time, when people don't have that money to be reaching in their pockets so much, it's just better to make a show an event so they enjoy it and it's, you know, it doesn't hurt them, you know, you know, people got to eat too. Right. Can't eat uh, tickets all the time. Gotcha. <laughs> but, well, I'd like to thank you for coming to Music Unite. Um, we're here with Joe Angel Hernandez. Be sure you check out your website again. Um, Joe Angel Prods, P-R-O-D-S, is where all my shows are at. Um, Blue Phoenix Venue, it will be Facebook also. Uh, uh, go check it out and you'll see what's coming. And I'll just be posting all the time so, and supporting too. And make sure you guys know this guy because you're going to see a lot more of him in the future, a lot more of him with Music Unite. Uh, we're <laughs> hoping to do a lot of things with him. So this is James with Music Unite. Check us out, musicunite.com. Like us on Facebook, like Joe Hernandez's stuff, and we're out. Music Unite. Hey, this is Legan with Music Unite, and we are proudly sponsored by Music Go Round.